Ever since Captain America handed his shield off to Sam, his legacy has been getting booted around a dirty bathroom floor. First we had Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which was just fantastic. I mean, we got to see Sam defend a genuine criminal who blew up buildings with innocent people trapped inside them. Then he delivered amazingly written lines like this. There was still people in there. This is the only language these people understand. A few moments later. The terrorists only set us back a bit. You have to stop calling them terrorists. What a stupid thing to say. You have no idea how complicated this situation is. You know what? You're right. And that's a good thing. You have a brain injury. As if that wasn't bad enough, they announced he was getting his own movie. It's been a disaster zone ever since then, with constant delays, months of reshoots, and plot leaks that sounds like the writers taking their orange man hatred out on our eyes. Meanwhile, Giancarlo Esposito, who for some reason is the latest actor people have a hard on for, kept teasing he would be joining the MCU. Once he finally announced he hopped on board, he said he would be playing a character we'd never seen before. And to that I say thank God, because seeing him play Professor Xavier, I honestly would have laughed myself right out of the theater. I think it's fair to say nobody expected Captain America 4 to be his debut movie, but here we are. Apparently during what is now an additional 3 weeks of reshoots, he's being added in as a last minute villain. Now my money is on him being in the after credits scene, but with Marvel, who knows the nonsense they have planned. The description for his character claimed he has 3 guns, 3 knives, an axe, and a black cape. He kind of looks like Blade, if Blade really let himself go and bought all his gear at a garage sale. That is so deeply pathetic. Not sure how an old guy like him carries that much gear, so I'm guessing he has some kind of enhanced abilities. That or Marvel's hoping this so-called cool appeal he has with people is just going to blind them to that idiocy. As far as theories go, people are all over the map on this one. Some people think he's playing Nick Fury's villainous younger brother, others think he's the true mastermind behind the whole power broker thing from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If you got theories about how he's a multiversal variant of Nick Fury or even Kang, but those don't really fit with the whole new character thing. All I know is he's definitely playing Mephisto. What did you just say to me? It really is anyone's guess at this point. We've seen Marvel pull out characters who had one or two appearances in a what if comic or a miniseries because it fit their needs, so trying to figure out who this guy is sounds like another recipe for disaster. The fanbase does this all the time, they go crazy with theories and speculation only to be disappointed with the end result. Marvel doesn't really care as long as it keeps word of mouth going, and with the news around this movie I'm sure they were glad to see this picture leak and potentially have some people actually look forward to this nightmare. I was being generous assuming he's just in the post credit scene, because again this thing had been a FEMA certified disaster zone since day one. It wouldn't shock me at all if he ended up having a bigger role in the movie, because for them to actually tack on another 3 weeks of reshoots after they already went through 5 months says a lot about their confidence in this crap. It's being reported that these reshoots are because of extremely poor test screenings, which isn't really new in the superhero world. It's highly unlikely they'd react to poor test screenings by just adding an after credit scene and thinking that would somehow save the movie. The last time a film relied on that strategy, Black Adam ended up collapsing DC's hierarchy into a full on reboot. Damn! It also seems like an odd time to introduce him. Personally I would have saved him for after the next Avengers movies, because apparently Wong is going to start recruiting new Avengers for the next big threat in this movie. It's sad how we've gone from Captain America and Iron Man building the team to a comedic side character like Wong, but honestly everything about the MCU these days is pathetic so it's not that surprising. This guy seems like more of a ground level villain, otherwise the whole guns and knives thing wouldn't really make sense. How much use are they really going to get out of him if they have to start building up to the next Avengers movie? Who knows and honestly who cares? For all we know this movie flops and he pulls a Star Fox never to be seen again. I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? <laughs> it truly does bring a smile to my face to imagine what's going through the heads of Marvel executives right now. 
I guarantee they genuinely believe whatever character he's playing is all of a sudden gonna save the MCU because everyone loved him on Breaking Bad. These morons really think the strategy to win back fans after years of failure is throwing shiny objects in to distract everyone instead of, oh I don't know, better storytelling or sticking to the source material. Seriously Marvel, great job guys. Who needs two billion dollar hits when you have non-stop controversies and movies that need six months of reshoots only to end up losing hundreds of millions of dollars anyway.